Stephen James Dixon, um, husband coaching episode eight. Today we're talking about a man's manhood and how a man can't afford to give his manhood away to a woman. Um, I'm going to tell a story. First thing I'm going to do is I remember one time I was dating a woman and she was well to do. She had good paper. Uh, her paper was long. Had a nice crib and all that. And I'm, I'm a young cat, and, you know, 26, 27, something like that. She in her 30s. That's how your boy get down, right? And um, I go through the crib and, you know, and I'm checking it out. It's nice and all that. But I see a little window that, you know, the little latch was broken on the window. And um, and I was like, yo, I'm going to fix that window. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to let her know I'm man, you know, all day. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fix that window. It's just a little latch, a screw, you know, go Home Depot, well, bada bing, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we good. And uh, she looks at me and says, hold on. I don't need no man coming in my house trying to take over. I don't need a man, you know, to to feel like I can have a house and, you know, I got a handyman and I don't want you to feel like I owe you something just because you fixed the window. And, I'm, you know, she was all on this, you know, super independent woman thing. And, um, and I let her breathe and I let her, you know, get that off her chest. And my response was simply... Woman, I'm going to fix the window. Period. I don't engage. I don't I don't let the the energy of the super independent woman engage my spirit. I don't I'm not moved by independent woman. I know the independent woman is just looking for a dependable man. So I'm gonna be dependable man. And I'm not worrying about woman trying to be independent because once I'm dependable. She going to fall and she going to come under me. You feel me? And so our men today, husband coaching, episode eight, stop letting woman take your manhood. Stop giving your manhood away. Stop engaging in these arguments. Stop being emotional just because she emotional. Stop worrying about her being always in agreement with what you're trying to set forth for the plan for the family. Example of that is, I got a, a couple right now in premarital coaching, and um, the woman wants to spend a certain amount of money on the marriage, and the man wants to spend a certain amount of money on the on the marriage. Let's say the man wants to spend ten thousand, the woman wants to spend thirty thousand. I believe that man can decide to spend twenty thousand, cause that's in the middle. That's what works best for the family. It's not what he's comfortable with. It's not what she's comfortable with. It's not his way. It's not her way. It is a compromise. Men, leaders, husbands, our role is to facilitate and approach conversations looking for the compromise. If you want to spend 10, she want to spend 30, 20 is a compromise. Woman, allow that man to pursue the compromise. Okay? But man, don't look for her to always be in agreement. Sometimes you got to lead and a woman may be unhappy with you, but ultimately she will gather that you're trying to lead and we need women to follow. See, the problem with my men is sometimes, I go hard on brothers today, they're going to be emotional, they ain't going to like it. The problem with our men is, is that we want our women to follow first. It's not going to happen. You have to lead first, then the woman will follow. Lead first, woman follows later. In every organization, unit, team, company, whatever club, there's one leader. And that one leader lets it be known that he's the leader up front. Let's it be known he's responsible for the flock. And we need our men to have that kind of attitude about our relationships and marriage. And if you develop that attitude and you step into your leadership, woman will respect that. So let that marinate. Woman, she will. She will respect your leadership. Once woman gathers that the leadership is for the family, not that the man is leading for himself, not that the man is making decisions for himself, is that the man is making the best decisions for the family, right? So men, hang in there. It's tough. Figure it out. Get at me. StephenJamesDixon.com coaching. <laughs> that's what it is if you don't know how to get it in if you don't know how to do it holler at your boy I could tell you how to do it I could tell you how to keep that marriage together 
How that get, get that relationship to evolve? I'm out, man. Y'all ain't ready for this. <laughs>